Now, this is where the uh, fun stuff comes in, where we start looking at what kind of attributes exist on our particles in order to make something cool. So it's likely that um, your Houdini person has included a plethora of, particle, of, of, of attributes on the particles that can help drive um, your, the looks of your shader. So if we middle mouse click here, we can see we've got information about the age of the particles, the normalized age of the particles. So that basically means the age is fit between a value of zero and one, depending on how old they are based off of the full on lifespan of the particle. We'll see what that kind of does in a second. Um, ID attributes and then um, P scale attributes. P scale actually goes, is going to drive the size of this attribute. So you can kind of see that there's like a a random size associated with these particles. Uh, so if we kind of look at this here, I'm just going to untick the lock on my camera and zoom in a little bit closer. You can see that all the particles are sort of different sizes. So that's that's being driven by the P scale attribute. And also we have the we have a couple of random attributes. So if I click one of these random attributes, you can see that you kind of get this um, these blue and red dots. That just basically means that we're visualizing again on these visualizers. That means that we're visualizing a a range between um, zero and one, and it's ranging this this blue, white, and red color. So that's uh, we've got one random attribute, and we've got a, another random attribute like so. So just two different random attributes that you can kind of use to mix different variations together, and then um, this this age n. So you can see that the age n is sort of going from zero to one, the older the particles get. So you can kind of like adjust the shading depending on how old the particles are. Now this is a still frame, but these particles were generated from a simulation. So they do know how old they are, even though we're frozen on this frame. 